Rebecca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. It's an early spring day here at our little farmhouse on the northern plains of Iowa and just wanting to liven up our kitchen this afternoon with fresh essences of spring. So as always, I hope you're doing well and I'm really glad you stopped by for a visit here at our home, the carriage house. I love having simmer pots simmering away on the stove no matter what season. Warm cinnamon and clove in the fall, fresh pine and orange in the winter, rosemary and lemon in the summer, and for spring today I'm using fresh thyme, limes, and pinches of flowers from a bouquet that was recently given to me by my husband. But this can make your home smell so nice and fresh, and I make sure to barely simmer the water so that way the flowers will give off their unique scent, because if the water's too hot then you won't be able to smell the scent quite as much. And it still looks pretty after you've simmered it for a while, so I can probably get two or three days worth here. One of the things I love most about spring is seeing those beautiful tulips rise up from the earth in the garden. Every year my husband and four kids go to this tulip festival in this tiny town not too far away from us. But just seeing all the amazing varieties and gorgeous color after a long cold winter is just pure joy. So don't forget to see if there's any tulip festivals close to where you live. And now moving on to making strawberry and cream tea sandwiches. Strawberries are another one of those beautiful things to look forward to in springtime. When we used to live in Arizona, my daughter and I would go to this lovely little tea room and you get to pick out your tea, what kind of tea sandwiches you'd like, and other petite little um, like chocolate covered strawberries or sweet lavender shortbread. And she was only about four years old at the time. Um, but then she was diagnosed with celiac disease, so it's really difficult to find tea rooms now with gluten-free options. But those precious memories are what we should hold dear to our hearts.
It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, so I'm going to prepare the evening meal, and I'm making creamy potato soup with roasted Brussels sprouts. I thought soup would be nice tonight because it's still very chilly out here, at least in Iowa. When I was growing up in Tennessee, I always remember spring being such a beautiful time of year, and it would begin early, of course. So when my husband, our children, and, and I moved here, it was a little bit of a change, but change can be good for the soul. One of life's constants is change, and it can teach us to adapt and help find our own path in life. So right now I'm taking off the outer part of the sprouts and barely cutting the bottoms off. That way they still stay intact. And going to drizzle them with olive oil and sea salt and roast them in the oven until golden and crisp on the outside but tender on the inside. And I will leave these recipes for you down below. And now I'm going to begin making that creamy potato soup.